My name is Stephen, uh, and I'm the spouse of the bishop. I was one of over 600 spouses that attended the Lambeth Conference from all over the world. As a spouse, we had our own gatherings throughout the conference. The Bible passage that we used was 1 Peter, and we studied together. The Most Reverend Justin Welby, the Archbishop of Canterbury, said, It is a book that addresses the challenges that Peter's communities were facing. It speaks about belonging, alienation, exile, slavery and persecution. You can immediately hear the echoes in our world today from that passage. We gathered in a large sports facility on the campus of Kent University. The sights and sounds as we gathered each day were something to behold. We were assigned small groups that would be our discussion groups, as was table number 32, which became to us Lambeth 32, maybe in preparation for the next one, who knows. It became a place of discussion, friendship and prayer, guided by our mentor, Mandy, the spouse of the Bishop of Exeter. As always, when we first met, there was a little apprehension. Eight people from all over the world, from different backgrounds and cultures, but we soon became a place of safety for us all. Being able to speak freely about all sorts of issues that were personal to each of us as individuals and collectively, and having an understanding that there were many, many challenges of being a bishop's a spouse. Our worship was amazing. Groups from all parts of the world would get up and sing and pray together and bring us together in praise of God. At times it became overwhelming and went deep into your very soul and brought tears to my eyes. And that gift was amazing. We are saying there is no other God like you. We are group, we are standard, we are born now. We have never seen other God like you. Praise the Lord. Hakuna Mungu Kamba There were daily programs, uh, which each day, which we could choose to attend. The gifts of tears, not just about sadness, but our joy and a sign that God was near us at all times. A testimony to paint, not just about paint, but a reflection on key moments in our faith and our journey with God. Tranquility in the trees as we lay on hammocks under the canopy of the trees, wondering at God's creation or an afternoon nap if you wanted. The Big Sing, a wonderful group of musicians, led us in song together and harmony and praise. And yes, they actually taught me uh, to sing on that session. What a miracle. These are just a few of the things that were put on for the spouses to do. It gave us all new things to learn and be part of the wonderful people uh, that were bishop spouses. Now you may have gathered that I'm a great fan of my fellow spouses, and that's true. What a wonderful group of people they are. Personally, I felt that our gathering at Lambeth Conference was better than the bishops. It was a great honor to be part of Lambeth Conference, and one which I will tre treasure for the rest of my days. And the group that I sat with, Lambeth 32, will always be in my heart uh, and remain friends too. Through our faith in Jesus Christ, Peter encourages us to live lives of witness, hope, holiness as God's chosen people 
and that we will try to do. Thank you.